Hello YouTube, and before I even start this deck profile, I'm gonna get into this. Yes, this deck is named Iron Chain Deck. Yes, it only runs five Iron Chain cards, but here's why. The Iron Chain archetype is terrible. Not only is it completely under-supported, but it wants to do too many things at once. It wants to burn your opponent, but its burn damage is just minimal, doing anywhere between 300 to 800, and it wants to mill your opponent's deck, and even then the milling isn't too much, and especially a way, the way a lot of the game functions now. Milling your opponent is just helping them get to their win condition with Chaos Dragons and Zectors, Prophecies. But even if this doesn't fit some people's criteria of an Iron Chain deck, I hope that you still stick around and let me talk about this deck because it is a lot of fun. I've only, I've only made it today, but it is so much fun and I hope I can make this deck a lot better and it's been working really well for me but of course the moment I put the deck down and try to pick it back up again I'm going to be drawing dead hands so now that we're a minute in let's get on to the deck profile so yes this is an iron chain deck or that's what I'm calling it because that's the engine it runs off of and it runs off of this card iron chain repairman uh, the iron chain archetype might be terrible but this card is actually really good kind of so it has uh, two effects going for it. First, if it destroys a monster by battle, and it like 300 damage to your opponent. A little bit of burn damage is nice, but here's the real good effect. Once per turn, special summon one level four lore iron chain monster from your grave, except for its uh, another iron chain repairman. And it can attack the turn use this effect. So actually where I got the idea of this, I'm sorry I'm going into so much backstory, but that's how much I like this deck. I was watching Phoenix Flare yeah, Phoenix Flare play uh, this morning with his Dragoonides, and he was playing someone on Dev Pro who was running just Make Barky on deck. And uh, he, I saw in Sh Iron Chain Repairman, I'm like, that's really good. It Don't, don't they have a uh, two that you can just go straight into Barky on? But this isn't a tuner. Although this is a tuner, Iron Chain Coil. Uh, once per turn, you can select an Iron Chain Monster, and it gains 300 attack and defense. As long as it's on the field. So, but really, you just normal summon this guy, or just get him on the field to use its effect. Special summon this guy, and sink for seven. This deck spams one of three things. Uh, rank seven, or level seven synchros, level four, rank four XCs, and rank five XCs. And of course, Iron, Ch Iron Chain's effect. Uh, sometimes you will get this off, you just... Normal summon it, use its effect, uh, pile on its effect onto itself and make it kind of big, boosts up defense and protect with back row. But of course, the rest of the deck, summon a monk. Pitch a spell from your hand to special summon one level four monster from your deck. So what this does is it lets me get to my repairmans once I get to a coil engrave. But there's really only one good way to get coil engrave, and that is to make Lavalve all chain. And Summoner Monk is pretty much a free Lavalve all chain if you draw into it with a spell and your opponent doesn't have the Veiler. And what helps you keep your advantage is draw Star Drawing. This card came out in Cosmos Bla Cosmo Blazer, and it is a really interesting card that I feel got somewhat overlooked. What you can do is... Uh, you can exceed summon with this card, and you can also it can also be treated as level five when you exceed summon for it. Also, when uh, you exceed summon with this card as material, you draw a card. So what you do is you summoner monk, summon this guy out, overlay, draw a card. You didn't lose any advantage off that. And of course, you make Lavalve all chain, dump coil in the grave, and you've pretty much set up your engine. Spell striker. I've played this deck about five times already maybe a little more and i haven't seen a spell striker so that's maybe i saw him once but the idea with him is that sometimes you'll draw into coil and so what you can do is normal coil special him and go into a uh, level six synchro also uh you run quite a few spells and they're going to go to the grave by you not only playing them but pitching them for summoner monk so he's easy to summon and you can attack directly for 6,000, which can be enough for a game. I run one Photon Thrasher. 
sometimes you don't draw into Summoner Monk, but you do draw into something like Star Drawing and draw into your Photon Thrasher, then you can set up your play the same way using Star Drawing, getting into your chain. And you only need to run one of him because if you can't see by now, I have a card that just lets me recycle him over and over and over. See, so yeah, I only really feel I need him one plus. There's a card I have to search him out. Actually, I have two cards to search him out. Chain is, hint is, chain is one of them. And also, two maxis, you know. I don't really play a lot of hand traps, like, except for in decks that don't play standard traps. But I decided, hey, let's uh, play with maxis. Plus, this deck is uh, very combo based. You want to get to your pieces, so if your opponent goes off, uh, let it be their loss as you plus off them. Uh, two Cyber Dragon. Uh, this card, as I said, it can be treated as a level 5 when you exceed someone with it. So you can special Cyber Dragon, normal summon this guy, go into a rank 5. And rank 5s are pretty good. Also an interplanetary purply thorny dragon. If one of your monsters is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can... Excuse me, special summon this card from your hand. It's supposed to be kind of like cyber... It's pretty much another cyber dragon. Kind of. It kind of plays the same role. Because you can overlay it with this. Plus, if your opponent dark holds and says, Hi, I will attack you for that extra 800 a game with my... Uh, Iron Chain Blaster. You can special summon this and say, Ha ha ha, no you won't. Or something like that, I don't know. But, uh... I actually haven't been able to pull him off yet because I haven't been playing against the best of decks, but not all the people I've been playing against are bad. It's just, I just draw them when I play against not as good of players who rage quit. And Gores, because Gores is a Gores, of course, of course. And then uh, Monster Born, Dark Hole Heavy Storm, and the two MSD staples. Reinforcement of the Army gets you to your Iron Repair, your Thrasher, and your Spell Striker. Just gets to what you need. Three Warriors returning alive. After I'd done finished building this deck, I'm thinking, hey, won't this be a bit of overkill? And then I thought, nah. You can always use one of them to pitch for Summoner Monk. And this just lets you uh, bring Repair back, Repair Man back from the grave and just make another level 7 Synchro. Uh, two Duality. At one point, I wanted to cut these guys, but I decided to keep them in because I can always pitch them as Summoner Monk, and you want to get to your Summoner Monk, your Repairman, or something like your Cyber Dragon and Star Drawing. And of course, Traps, because the awesome thing about this deck is that a lot of the combos are just one, two card combos that let you get a little bit of advantage, and the Traps are simply there to protect your things. So we run the Solemn Brigade, Two Mirror Force, two Bottomless, two Torrential, and a Starlight Road. All very standard traps. And of course, on to the extra deck and uh, cards that didn't exactly make the cut. But extra deck, yeah. Iron Chain, just to kind of fit the theme of uh, the Iron Chain deck. Uh, but he, he has some synergy with the deck, even though I've never been able to make him, because there's only one and a half ways to make him but you can banish these guys to make them go really big or a few extra hundred attack points big but still and Barkion because of course this deck can make Barkion with caster and or striker and coil but on to the meat of the deck or, or the point of the deck uh, lightning warrior this card destroys a monster by battle and inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card in their hand so this lets you get a little extra burn damage in and of course, Black Rose, because it nukes the field. And Scrap Archfiend, uh, just because he's a big kitty. Stardust for Starlight Road, and Scrap Dragon, because you can easily make him by a normal summoning, or special Cyber Dragon, normal coil. Easy. And Laval Vault Chain, you need to get that coil in the grave. I may put a second one in here, just in case it gets warninged. And I need to make it again, but you know, you never know. And then fours, the Djinn, Papper Operative. Blade Armor Ninja I can make by Special and Thrasher, the normal summoning repairman. It's a possible situation. And Topes. Good old U Topes. And for the fives, I run Volcanosaurus. This card is broke. 
and uh, Tiris and uh, wind up in my hoe. Oh, uh, that's the deck profile. I explained, I think, everything I wanted to say, and more so, but thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't really care. Just say if you liked it or if you didn't like it. Tell me why. And uh, catch you next time. Goodbye.